Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mom Maverick channel and here we talk about trends in the cryptocurrency space. There's a trend we've been looking at which is the move to earn trend. So today we want to talk about three products within this space. This is obviously not investment advice but we want to look at these parallels to see how the space is moving forward. There's a lot of pieces to put together. So if you're interested in this kind of content, please make sure to stay for the whole video and click that like and subscribe button because it's really helpful for the growth of this channel. If you haven't heard of Steppin, this is the app that we want to talk about first. It has gained a lot of attention in the cryptocurrency space and you can see the button here. You can actually download now if you want to use it. So it's on Google Play and everything. So basically, this falls into the category of move to earn. There's not too much to say here. I'll post these links in the description. You can read for yourself to see how you want to engage yourself in these concepts. These are new concepts highly speculative so you have to be extremely careful and take everything i say with a grain of salt you have to do your research extensively to understand this space to understand where you want to go so in short this is another way of using smart contracts within the web3 framework and it's another use case so on top of others like DeFi, play to earn where users play games to earn tokens you earn a utility token and normally there's another token which is a governance token similar parallels are being drawn here similar concepts are being used here in packaged differently that's what i'm saying you have to be extremely skeptic because this could be something else package something else but either way there's a lot of excitement with this there's a lot of people and exa for example this is their website for step in so with s t e p apostrophe n so you have to be careful because there's another company we're going to look at with a similar name so join today make your steps count step in is a web3 lifestyle app with social fi like from decentralized finance this is social finance and gamify elements or gamify elements players can make handsome earnings i don't know about that no investment advice but this is what their website is saying they can make handsome sayings uh, earnings by walking jogging or running outdoors and you can see a counter here which is showing the distance being run carbon offset uh, calories burned discord members twitter followers and so on and you have a roadmap here dating from august of well last year so 10th move to earn concept is born 14th feasibility study and so on and they look at team building and then you can look at, you can see that they also look at things like gps calibration so you want to make sure they keep track you have your application that you earn from you stake from but it properly keeps track of your movements obviously that is the whole point community building which is extremely important solana hackathon obviously we know these guys are partnering with the binance smart chain they have some major partnerships as we're going to see here and this is their roadmap simple roadmap you can see 2022 q1 in up trade function and all these things that are needed a marketplace an ieo an ido or initial dex offering that's a way to raise money and then q2 they're looking at in up wallet upgrade so you have a wallet within there you can use to swap tokens instead of going to an external wallet these are features that are extremely useful you want if you want to keep users on the platform without taking them off which might reduce your user count so multi-chain wallet upgrade being able to interact with different chains interoperability within this play to earn crypto space or metaverse or move to earn or put a name to earn you need to have that interoperability if you want to capture a light a wider range of users because someone may be using binance smart chain but they don't like solana and then yet you want to capture the solana people some of the people may not like ethereum yet you want to capture those people so you want to connect or create bridges or a true interoperability standard where you can use your application in different ways this is why they're looking at upgrade in their roadmaps and frankly speaking any product within this space should be looking at that that's why there's an opportunity for companies that are building products specifically for joining blockchains so they have more in their roadmap like achieve achievement systems quest systems rental systems and of course they will have delegation systems where you can delegate your nfts for someone else maybe to perform a certain activity for you or upgrading your nfts and things like that so when you continue to look at their website they also have other features like bloomberg yahoo news yahoo finance and so on bazinga nasdaq and they show their team also they talk about their backers like sequoia finance folius ventures binance solana ventures alameda research which is investing in so many other uh, capitals out there in other cryptocurrencies it 
ecosystems out there corner ventures so you can see there's a lot of att attention on them solar eco fund open space some names i've never heard but they have a lot of backing as you can see and Steppin is one of the biggest names and clearly you can see with their online following especially on twitter 625,000 followers that means followers from all kinds all walks of life people that want to find another way of earning an income especially in the current times current uncertain times where the proletariat are seem, seem to be stepped on by the system in some way shape or form but this is not political it's not a political channel so of course when you go to their twitter there's some updates or some things that they're looking at for example as we wait the launch of our minting scrolls so here's a sneak peek into one of our new designs especially for step in family tell us what you think so obviously like other ecosystems out there like the artifact studio where they airdrop their use these boxes and you could open these boxes and these amazing nfts come out uh, you know it's a whole exciting thing some of them go for high values depending on the ecosystem guys this is not investment advice so of course some of these fundamental should we say standards in the cryptocurrency space are being established and you can see others are being replicated because mimicry is the best form of flattery should i say so we're seeing this mimicry being uh, basically carried over into other ecosystems so a loot box you get a loot box and you can mint it and you can open it and some interesting stuff can come out if you can use it in that particular ecosystem so it could give you an advantage who knows so this is a way to incentivize people within the ecosystems they also have some nice write-ups where they talk about their governance models so their gst token the gmt token essentially they have a utility token and the governance token utility is you perform the activities you race you walk you do this you receive that token in return and the governance token is one you stake or used to vote on fundamental issues within the ecosystem these are models these are standard these standards that have been developed in the ecosystem when the next bull run comes we don't know how these things are going to change but we're seeing the space building with these standards of course there's another there's an article that was written by vice news so going off the step in for a little bit there's an article that was written by Vice News and the reason why I bring up this article is that it's a very good foray into looking at the skepticism of the space but also looking at where the people are. So for example this article sort of go goes on to talk about drawing comparison like with the play to earn where you have to get NFTs and then the earlier investors in the NFTs are end up gaining and uh, well you have to wait for more people to get to get into the ecosystem which kind of has similarities and I, i'll read a small snippet for you here to understand where i'm getting at so step in and step in and others in the move to earn movement contend that they are working to figure out some solutions to their ponzinomics problems so eddie lester is one such person while developing a forthcoming excess exercise to earn project called meta gym he started to try to figure out a way to make sure his new company didn't become a ponzi scheme what we typically see when we think of any to earn movement is anyone that gets into it early has a significant advantage and really kind of like a ponzi scheme actually favors the early users and then slowly takes away from those that come on later down the road that's why he said so one of his main ideas for setting up a sustainable system of earnings is balancing two tokens against one another so we're looking at the utility token and the governance token which means tokenomics is extremely important and the other they tell you that in stepping's case it has the gst with an unlimited supply which can be earned from exercising and they also have the gmt token which is a governance token for voting on this so of course this article goes on to of course cover these details one thing all companies share is the belief that move to earn games will prove more sustainable than axie infinity which is a play to earn game which saw its token go from 138 dollars to i don't know how much it is right now but it collapsed by at least i guess 60 or 70 percent of its price just like many other tokens in the space but you have to look at why what the why the people are dropping the tokens so fast what is happening is it just fear is it just capitulation what is going on so that's where the importance of doing your own research and investing in the in the teams is very important so one thing all the companies share is the belief that move to earn games will prove to be more sustainable than axe infinity because people will end up enjoying the benefits of exercising more than video games yes users can make money from stepping in the early stage but over time they will also grow accustomed to staying active so they will continue to walk and run regardless so i guess these companies are trying to look at products trying to fit a to create a market fit product for something that might manifest itself as a use case within the future or something that seems to be needed so they're trying to figure out how to do this and not collapse in the process so we have to give them some benefit of doubt because they're creating something 
the research part comes in you have to be really careful and at least invest something that you're not willing to invest stuff that you're willing to lose don't invest your savings and your whole um, money some of these applications you don't need to actually buy anything you can just download the app and on board so as i was saying there's similarities within the names the other was step in this is step up step up so this is a whole different applications they have all these graphics and everything but i repeat all that glitters is not gold guys so just because it has all these apps and all these um all these metrics here the number of users 10 million and so on users are pre-signed to create their fitness and social life so pre-signed they're not really active users and they talk about exercise socialize farm play earn so you can see they're creating their nfts or whatever they're going to show these in the future and they have their teams so they have their faces here and so on and advisors and uh, i guess ambassadors and so on so obviously you have to be extremely careful because these are extremely new foray kind of things if you're speculating be very careful if you are interested in this ecosystem then i say read up read up read up on the white papers and if something clicks if something makes sense then choose to invest your money of course this is their twitter account they have 209,000 followers and they say reimagining fitness earn socialize play and compete in the first health metaverse part by the augmented by augmented reality and they have a pretty cool video here uh, where they're displaying what they're trying to i guess get to Okay, there you have it. It's a pretty cool intro, pretty cool video. But as I said, make sure you do your own research before just read up this space and see where these companies are getting at, what they're doing, and make sure you're involved. Of course, now, for example, they have a white paper here, a light paper. Just like I imagine the step in people also have their roadmap and their white or light paper, because you don't need to look at the white paper, maybe the blockchains they're using and all that. If that's in the background and it's working properly or they have their own uh, change that they're choosing then the fundamental application of what they're choosing what they're doing the nfts the incentives the utilities that's what you find out mostly about the white papers because they make it in such a way that people should read them or should be able to read them but as i said make sure you can read this article posted by vice news of course i'm going to put it in the link of the description and you'll understand where they're coming from now the last application i want to talk about is mobix which is building on fetch.ai which is built on the cosmos ecosystem now these guys are looking at a play to earn ecosystem but they're looking at of course having interoperability standards but they're mostly focusing on the sustainability issue and creating or supporting micro mobility infrastructure so of course any vehicles that essentially don't pollute by using internal combustion engines and any vehicles that use electricity or a bicycle where you use your actual energy your physical energy to move it this is the target market which is quite interesting now of course they have their mobix reward tokens and recently they just uh, announced or they actually activated their mobix miles where you can convert your miles into the mobix token which is quite interesting so instead of creating two tokens you have the miles which you can acquire by riding a bicycle by walking and all that and then you can convert these miles into the mob x token which in the past with all other ecosystems dexes and everything any decentralized platform that launches two tokens or three tokens or whatever it dilutes the value within that ecosystem so here i don't know what their future plans are but if they plan to just stick to the miles which can be acquired by anyone converting them into tokens and also other ways of earning their mob x tokens is pretty cool and you have to remember this is proof of stake so which means you can stake their tokens as well to earn and also with step in and the others they're applying these same concepts their governance token you can stake it you can use it to vote on concepts the reason why i'm covering this is because these are some of the concepts developing the cryptocurrency space and it's very important to keep yourself knowledgeable about this stuff so that you can learn to make educated decisions so of course when you check out these people's twitter they have 16,000 followers they're under the radar but they're building some really interesting stuff 
and recently I can see they went into some designing process and they're touting some NFTs they want to put out there like the minting soon NFT founding series. So you can see they're creating all these kinds of sort of they seem like incentives where you can buy these NFTs and boost your trip rewards up to 3x and all this. So of course companies have to create a balance within what products to sell at what tier and how to create a long sustainability thing i mean these companies need to exist five in five years time in 10 years time so how do you create a balance between creating a sustainable model and not risking that over that speculative nature because in, it's not normally very good in the cryptocurrency space especially if you're a new company so these are things that different companies have to deal with including established blockchains everyone's having some kind of a problem in this ecosystem even the biggest blockchains like ethereum they have their own problems bitcoin has its own issues but it's ticking and working but other blockchains that have to upgrade they also have some serious governance some serious technical stuff to look at in order to build that long-term sustainability and that's what's happening in the bear market right now so of course if you want to do more research on these mobix people you have to read up read their news articles like the energy balance of the mob x tokens the x to earn apps in mobix move to earn ecosystem how to claim your mob x miles your tokens and your stake drop recently they did a stake drop where you could stake some of the tokens to earn their tokens so this is some of the stuff that they're looking at and they have some nice articles here like the x to earn apps in mobix move to earn so they're talking about how you can have this do this to earn do this to earn and they make uh, parallels or comparisons with Axie Infinity. There are numerous notable examples of these apps such as Axie Infinity, Decentraland and Solar Labs. So what's interesting is that all these are virtual apps that create some kind of real world use case. I'm not saying all of these are going to exist but it still doesn't mean that this stuff is not going to exist. There's, there has to be a an app that's used, that's valuable, that's actually real, that's creating real value to those that are using it, that's going to emerge as that app out there. So when we look at some of these that, have, that are mentioned here, like Step In, another one that's sort of similar to the name, Step App, um, then Mobix, they're trying to see how they can infiltrate this space or create some of these new concepts within this ecosystem, this, uh, this play to earn. Now, the interesting thing I wanted to point out is that if these platforms are able to create an interoperability standard, then it's easy to onboard onto, as they've said here, other play to earn ecosystems like or maybe metaverses like Decentraland so you can organize events races or virtual races or even virtual reality implementation where people can run on their trade treads or whatever and exist within these metaverses through this play to earn so there's going to be a convergence of some of these technologies as we move forward in whatever shape or form so looking at them like this kind of gives you that ability that intuitive knowledge to be able to look at the cryptocurrency space objectively especially in the bear market because the best time to actually make decisions of where you want to put your money if you're investing we have to remember take everything with a grain of salt and do a tremendous amount of research and also try to invest in the team because it's the people that actually matter all right guys i hope you learned something and i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye